In the center of the case, you'll find two small Vietnam flags. The one with three stripes represents South Vietnam, and the other is a flag of the Viet Cong. Beside the flags, you'll see a pair of sandals. Because of the humid climate in South Vietnam, the Viet Cong wore these instead of boots. The soles were made of recycled tires, and the straps were old inner tubes. Above the sandals is what was called an accessory packet. It was part of a sea ration, the name given to a day's worth of food. The packet included salt, sugar, coffee, cream, even cigarettes, and toilet paper. The photo in the center is an American soldier using an old log as a bridge. He's in a field of rice called a paddy, and he's making sure his standard issue M16 rifle doesn't get wet. The upper right photo shows an American helicopter dropping leaflets in South Vietnam. It was called the Chu Hoi Program. Chu Hoi means open arms. The message encouraged the Viet Cong to defect, and if they did, the anti-communist government would welcome them with open arms. American soldiers are making their way across a rice paddy in the bottom right photo. Chemicals and fire destroyed about half of the farmland in South Vietnam. Soldiers are patrolling a river in the delta portion of Vietnam in the right middle photo. This type of boat is called a PBR, Patrol Boat Riverine. Their mission was to stop and search river traffic in hopes of disrupting weapons shipments. To the left, on the bottom, American soldiers are in what's called a protected hamlet, a small settlement in South Vietnam. The government there thought this type of isolation would prevent contact and influence from the Viet Cong, but it alienated the people more than it helped. Above that photo, soldiers are taking a rest on an armored personnel carrier. These vehicles were first used in Vietnam, they could easily break through heavy thicket in the jungle, giving them the nickname Green Dragon. Finally, the upper left picture shows the evacuation of an injured or deceased soldier to a hospital. It's called a medevac mission. There were very few passable roads, so helicopters became ambulances. 